Hello, today I'm doing a quick tutorial on how to set up Geyser on an already launched paper server here. So first thing you probably want to do is check if your server version up here actually matches one of the compatible ones here. That'll be best for this tutorial. If not, you're going to have to go through and follow these steps here for other versions using things like via version. But presuming you're using in this video a version that's compatible with uh, Java, this will be pretty straightforward. So. First thing you're probably going to do is just stop the server. And as that's stopping, you're going to go over to GeyserMC. I'll have it linked down below the download links for these. And you're going to be on this page. You're going to want to click the download spigot slash paper. And you're also going to want to download um, this jar right here for Floodgate as well. This allows for Bedrock players to basically join without needing a Java account. So you probably want to download these two together. So after you download these two jars here, just to any folder you like, you're going to want to now open up Squid Servers. You're going to click this icon here to open the server folder. And now that you're in the server folder, you want to go over to plugins. And we're just going to drop the jars in here. All right, I got the jars pulled up. I'm just going to go through, drop them in. Now they're here. And now what we're going to want to do is just start the server up again. That's basically going to allow uh, these jar files to build their little configuration files that we will then have to edit. Now what we want to do is actually create a bedrock tunnel for our server. So we do this, we just leave this menu here, we click manage tunnels, and we're going to click this create new tunnel option, we're going to do a bedrock edition tunnel. So we're going to click that, let it load for a bit. And then when that pops in here, we're going to link it to my paper server. Yes, change tunnel. Now you want to pay attention to the local port here. See, it's 19132, which is actually the default port for um, Geyser. So that'll allow to automatically start up. But now we actually need to configure it to use Floodgate. So to do that, we want to go here. We want to go back to this folder here. Go to our config and geyser spigot. We want to right click on it. We want to we want to right click, hit edit in Notepad, and the port, as we saw previously, the default was one nine one three two. If it's a different port from the tunnel, you just change it here. That's all you're gonna do differently, and you shouldn't have to change anything else here. Uh, next thing we really want to look at is the auth type. So you can hit Control F, click up off. It should be down here, off type online. You actually want to change it. Yes, they they spelled out for you. You want to change it to floodgate here. So under remote, you want to look for off type. You want to change it to floodgate. You want to save the file. Control S to save the changes. Back out. Close out everything. You want to restart the server once more. Now that the server's restarted, we're going to go here. We're going to type out this command here. Geyser connection test, and then we're going to copy the IP up here. We're going to copy the port up here, paste it, and we're going to run it. Now, as we can see here, testing server connection to our IP and our port, your server is likely online and working as of now. And that should mean that other players should be able to join your server, but obviously, you can go over here and test it in Bedrock. I have the IP and port there. Click play, and we should load into our server as is. Sweet, and now we're loaded into our server. And yeah, that's how you put Geyser on a server that didn't already have Geyser on it and Squid servers. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thank you so much.